Hey friends, it's Rosie and in this video we're making the best bacon mac and cheese. This is so easy. We have lots of cheese involved and guess what? You don't have to make a roux. So let's get started. We're starting off at my chopping board and I am going to start shredding my cheese. So I have lots and lots of cheese. I'll tell you about the cheeses later, what kind you'll need. We're just going to start off by preparing our pasta. We are using elbow macaroni pasta and I'm going to boil that pasta in some lightly salted water until the pasta is nice and al dente. Once the pasta reaches to the al dente-ness, I guess we'll call it, go ahead and drain your pasta. And now we're going to drizzle some butter. You know what I'm going to say, don't you dare mess up my macaroni and cheese by using margarine. No margarine, real butter. I'm now going to add in some milk. I'm using regular 2%. You don't need heavy cream or evaporated milk or half and half for this recipe. Now I'm going to add in two eggs. I did let my pasta cool down before I added my eggs. I know someone's going to say, oh my gosh, she's going to have scrambled eggs in her mac and cheese. But no, boo boo, we let it cool down. So now let's add in our Velveeta cheese. That's one of our cheeses. You see I have them nicely cubed up. And now I'm going to add in my other cheeses. I have some Gouda, I have Harvarti, and I have sharp cheddar. I love sharp cheddar, but of course, if you've been watching my channel, you all know this. So now I'm going to grab a kitchen utensil. I'm just using a spoon. I'm going to fold in those ingredients. Now I'm going to sprinkle in some seasoning salt, and my seasoning salt has black pepper. If yours does not, add a little black pepper. I'm going to shred some more sharp cheddar on top just because I want to. I love sharp cheddar cheese. And now it's time to sprinkle on our bacon crumbs. I just fried up my own bacon. I crumbled it myself. I did not use any of that store-bought stuff. And I like my bacon really, really crisp and really cooked, as you can see. My mom used to tell me if I didn't cook it all the way through or if I didn't cook it until I could see little burnt marks, I would get worms. So I'm still scared of that. So I make sure all my bacon is really, really crisp. I let this bake on 375 for 35 minutes uncovered and while it's baking I invite you to check out my friend Larry at the Wolf Pit. He has some of the most amazing delicious creative dishes I have ever seen that is on and off YouTube. He is just amazing. So be sure to check his videos out and be sure to let him know that I sent you. So look at our mac and cheese. It's nice and creamy. I mean come on. Would you really pass up a plate of mac and cheese like this? It's loaded with cheese. I mean, we have the Harvarti, the Gouda, the sharp cheddar, the Velveeta, and it's loaded with bacon bits on top of that. This is a cheese lover's dream and a dieter's nightmare. It is just so, so good. And that's why I call it the best bacon mac and cheese. You can get the exact measurements at my blog at iheartrecipes.com. See you all soon.